guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will be looking at the number of ways to split array problem which is from lead code number 2270 let's now look at the problem statement in this problem you are given a zero indexed integer array nums of length n nums contains a valid split at index i if the following conditions are true the sum of the first i plus 1 elements is greater than or equal to the sum of the last n minus i minus 1 elements so you can also write it as n minus i plus 1 elements right the second condition is there is at least one element to the right of i so i can only move from the first element to the second last element and we need to return the valid split in nums now if you consider an example given here then there are uh, four elements from 0 to 3 and uh, if i just enumerate it 10 4 minus 8 7 and try to make a split so if i can split like this at index 0 then uh, this is only possible if the sum calculated on the left hand side which is equals to 10 is actually greater than equals to the sum on the right hand side so the sum on the right hand side is uh, minus 8 plus 7 which is minus 1 plus 4 uh, which is equals to 3 so yes uh, this sum is larger therefore this is a valid split at index 0 and therefore i will be adding plus 1 count for this now i'll be trying the second split at index number 1 Now the sum on the left side is 10 plus 4, which is 14, which is greater than equals to minus 8 plus 7, which is minus 1. So this is also a valid split, and this will be contributing plus 1 to the count of splits. Now if I try the third split at index 2, then in this case, if you add this up, 10 plus 4, uh, which will be 14, and plus uh, minus 8 will be 6. So 6 is less than 7. So this is not a valid split. and you cannot try at the last point because the constraint mentions that there must be at least one element to the right hand side so you cannot split at the rightmost index so we are done and the count in this case is 1 plus 1 which is equals to 2 and therefore the answer is 2 now if you try to iterate for all the split points and try to find out the sum on the left hand side and the sum on the right hand side then for each of the split point we will be uh, consuming order of n time and since there are n minus 1 split points leaving out the last element so for each split point since i am taking order of n time so the time complexity will be n square for the simplest brute force approach so let's now look at the constraint if it is going to work so if you look at the constraint here n value is maximum 10 to the power of 5 so n square value will be 10 to the power of 5 into 10 to the power of 5 which will be 10 to the power of 10 so this is way beyond your 10 to the power 8 and therefore uh, it will give you tle if you solve by the brute force approach so we need to make the run time come below 10 to the power 8 computations if you also look at the elements it is mentioned to go from minus 10 to the power 5 to 10 to the power of 5 so if you add 10 to the power 5 10 to the power 5 times in the worst case then this can reach to 10 to the power of 10 which is greater than the integer maximum range so we cannot hold the maximum sum if you keep adding all the values we cannot hold it in a 32 bit integer so we may require a big integer or a 64 bit integer in our case fine so having understood the problem statement let's now look at the idea for the solution so in this case if i consider an array from index 0 to n minus 1 and try to check for a split point where we have i plus 1 elements on the left hand side and n minus i plus 1 elements on the right hand side If you add these two values up, it will always be equals to n, right? So n minus i minus one can also be represented as n minus, uh, and we, within the bracket you can write i plus one. So i plus one elements are on the left hand side, and the rest of the elements are on the right hand side. Okay. So according to the problem, if you take the prefix sum until the given index i. and uh, take the total sum, if you have the total sum of the array, then you can subtract the total sum. and the prefix sum to get the sum on the right hand side and if this sum is available the right hand side sum then you can just compare that if the prefix sum is greater than equals to the sum on the right hand side then this particular ith split is actually a valid split so this is the entire idea of the problem now let's look at a dry run in this case i am having five elements and as we discussed the condition of valid split is if the prefix sum is greater than equals to the right hand side sum which is total sum minus the prefix sum okay and we will be stopping at the second last index as per the problem uh, constraint right so the first step is to find the total sum by moving from left to right and i have already computed that to be equals to 15 
now this will be essential for us to find out the sum on the right hand side let's take a variable prefix sum equals to 0 and i will be starting at index number 0 i will be adding the value directly to the prefix sum so this becomes 10 and now i will try to check if 0 can be a valid split so i will be keeping a counter to count the number of valid splits and initialize it with 0 so now this will be a valid split if the prefix sum is greater than equals to the sum on the right hand side what is the total sum 15 what is the prefix sum 10 so what will be the sum on the right hand side it will be 15 minus 10 which is 5 so 10 is greater than equals to 5 and therefore this is a valid split so i will increase the count to count plus 1 and now i will go to the next index so when i go to next index index 1 then i will be adding this value 4 to the prefix sum so this becomes 14 and now what is the sum on the right hand side it will be 15 minus 14 which is 1 so 14 is greater than equals to 1 therefore this index 1 is also a valid split so i'll increment the count when i move to the right hand side now i have these three items on the left hand side i will be adding minus 1 to the prefix sum so this will become 6 now the sum on the right hand side will be 15 minus 6 which is equals to 9 so since 6 is not greater than equals to 9 so this is not a valid split so this will not be a valid split and now i will be going to the next uh, position so we, we are at index 3 and at this particular point uh, again what is the sum on the left hand side again just 7 will be added it will become 13 so 15 minus 13 that is 2 is the sum on the right hand side 13 is greater than equals to 2 so this is a valid split again and i will be incrementing the count to 3 and i will be stopping at the second last index according to the constraint because we should have at least one item to the right hand side and finally we will return the count as an answer so this is the entire solution and i hope you were able to understand it in this particular case we were traversing the entire array to find the sum so the sum calculation will take n and then uh, the order of n time again for finding the split by iterating through the entire array so the total time complexity will be order of n and the space complexity is order of one because we have not taken any extra space which is comparable to the size of n right now let's look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this code we are given the nums array and uh, the n is the size of the nums array i'll be taking a 64-bit uh, long long sum equals to zero and i'll be finding the sum after having done this I'll be uh, taking a counter which is equals to zero initially and a prefix sum value which is zero and I will be iterating for each of the index from the zeroth index till the n minus twoth index so uh, we will not be processing the last index so whenever I am at an index I will be adding that value into the prefix sum and uh, once I do that and I will be checking if the prefix sum is greater than equals to the right hand side sum which is total sum minus the prefix sum if that is true then this particular ith index is valid and i will be doing count plus plus and finally i will be returning the count as an answer so this is the entire code and i hope you were able to understand it if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you